I'm Janessa. I'm a teaching artist here at the Perez Art Museum Miami, and today we're going to be doing an art activity inspired by our vertical gardens here at the museum. The vertical gardens here were designed by world-renowned artist Patrick Block, the creator of the Living Wall and famous for his vertical gardens. The PAM is one of two buildings in the world that have these vertical gardens. These vertical gardens were designed to actually keep the temperature of the building cool and reduce humidity, and the plants chosen were all from tropical gardens. The materials we'll need for this project today are recycled plastic bottles that are clear, string, scissors, a knife with your parents' permission, straws from the kitchen, pipe cleaner or wire, and then tape, solid or clear, and then finally, we're gonna need soil and some plants that we're gonna be gardening with today and a cup to help us scoop the soil. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is collect clear plastic bottles from the recycle or garbage and we're gonna wanna clean them and go ahead and cut off the bottom of each bottle. So here I have three water bottles and a a recycled ketchup bottle and I just cut off the bottoms. For this step, you wanna ask your parents for help because you might need to use a knife and I don't want anyone getting cut. The next thing that we wanna do then is to decide if we wanna design our bottle. So for instance, for this bottle, I'm thinking that I would like to have a little color on it before I put anything else inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some tape and I'm gonna start wrapping the bottom of my bottle. And you can choose to use other materials like paper to cover your bottles if you want to add some color design. But I found tape to be a little easiest, so that's what I'm going with. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap my bottle a little bit to give it a little pop of color. So my first bottle is green. I'm going to go ahead and add some color to my other two water bottles. So now that my, some of my bottles have a design on it, now I wanna go ahead and think about where I want, how I want my plants to hang. So for this bottle here, I wanna be able to put two holes here when I decide to add the string. Again, I'm gonna to have to ask my mom or dad for help, and I wanna go ahead and poke a hole going horizontal on the bottle, this way, on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of my bottles now so they're ready. All right, so now my bottles are all ready to start putting the plants inside. I have my, my place for my string, so if I wanna add that early just so I don't have to do it later, I'm gonna look for my holes. There's one. And you can use string, wire, or pipe cleaner. Whatever you have at home is what can work. I'm gonna use today some pipe cleaner because it's gonna be a little easier and faster for me to get my bottles up. I'm just looping it through the gap that I created with the, with the knife with my parents. All right, so here I am now on my final bottle, adding my final string, wire, or pipe cleaner, whatever it is that you're working with. All right, friends, so now we have our bottles ready to hang and we have some designs on these. So now we're ready to start putting our soil and plants. All right, guys, so this is our planting part. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna have our plants ready and our soil ready. And I'm gonna start using my cup to fill up my planter with soil. And then once I have my planter nice and full, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my plants into that soil. If you don't have plants and you're working with seeds, you're obviously gonna put half soil, seed, and then more soil. But if you're working with plants, then you're gonna be doing it a little differently. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to hang that up here. I'm gonna use some of the string from the original planter here so it can tie together and make a nice sturdy knot.
and I have my first plant now hanging. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my second. And for these water bottles, I want to put them one underneath the other. You can choose to put your bottles differently. How you arrange them is up to you as the artist of your vertical garden. I have my second plant. I'm gonna place it nice and snug in there. Remember, if you're working with seeds, it's gonna take a little bit longer for you to see the results of that. For this one now, I wanna go ahead and wrap my plant string around the bottom of the other bottle. Make sure I have a, a good connection to that. If you need tape, definitely use it where you need it. So I feel like I might need tape for this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the same color tape that I used to design my bottle in the first place. And this is just gonna help keep my string secure. Get the other side up, nice and even. Come around with my tape. I'm gonna wrap it more than once to make it sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my scissors and cut off my excess string or wire. All right, second plant is hung up. There, so hold it in place. Perfect. All right, we have one more water bottle to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here. And this time, instead of trying to attach it from the bottom of the bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the loops of the string from before. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it here. It's gonna bring, the my plants a little closer to the bottle before it, but it's gonna look really nice. And these are just some different options of attaching your bottle and your plants together. So remember to experiment and see what works best for you. And so now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my dirt. And get my final plant here down at the bottom. Make sure it's snug. Remember, if you have a plant with roots, to be careful with those roots. And now, so far, we have our three bottles designed there and still have one more planter to go that's gonna accompany it right here. So for our final planter, I have a plant that has some interesting roots on it. So we wanna be able to be a little gentle with this plant so we don't ruin the roots. I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of extra soil because this is a bigger planter. for those roots, place my plant inside and throw soil around it. Now I'm doing this a little differently because remember this has very special roots on it. If your plant is like the first three that I did, you don't have to worry about that. All right now, so we're gonna go ahead and add it now to our final vertical garden. I'm gonna go ahead and use my wire string or pipe cleaner, whatever it is that you chose to work with today. And I'm gonna go ahead and find a sturdy place to put it on. So now this is the fun part that we get to explore. I wanna go ahead and take off the caps of these bottles. And when you do that, you're gonna see that some of the soil drains out. I'm not gonna do it at the ones that are at the bottom. I wanna be able to keep the water in there for those, but for the other ones I can. And what's great about this is that by taking off the caps of the bottles that are above the other planters, is I can add water and they will work together to drain into the nest.
and over here to the water bottles. There you guys have it, a vertical garden that actually works together to water one another.